Students that come to SUNY Geneseo are inspired students. They're academically talented and they're highly motivated. Students who enter our geology degree programs become inspired geologists. The students get excellent academics, they also get research opportunities, and it's in the glorious Genesee River Valley. With all six of our faculty engaged in active research programs, uh, we offer research opportunities for students in paleontology, in geomorphology, um, in hydrogeology, structural geology, tectonics, uh, planetary geology, and climate change. This is at this point where we actually do the anion column mm -hmm. is after we've done the complete dissolution and after we've converted the chloride and fluoride salt into 100% chloride. So show me an example of a, a crater that we missed that had a lot of rocks around it. In this lab, we actually bring in raw NASA data, process it, and then ingest it into a geographic information system, something like ArcGIS, to map the evidence of water on the surface of Mars. We also use that for characterizing the geology of the landing site for the NASA InSight mission. So the rocks right here are the hazard zones. These things are the size of the lander themselves. So if the lander lands on that, it'll tip over. It's a bad day on Mars when that happens, basically. <laughs> Undergrads coming from here then will be better prepared to do research on their own in graduate school. They'll be much better prepared to go off and work in the industry because they've actually worked with some of the tools of the, of the trade, so to speak, in their research here. I study slag, which is the leftover remains from making a metal. Some of my slag research in the Adirondacks has led to some investigations looking at how slag may buffer the acid rain problems in the Adirondack region. These instruments that students are using from X-ray diffraction to X-ray fluorescence and the SEM, they are not traditional and typical tools of an undergraduate department. So I'm equipping students with sort of experiences and tools that are really powerful to them beyond beyond Geneseo, even if they never study slag again. So push this thing yeah, down. Yeah, just slide and it right in there. Okay, okay. under it, so yep. kind of between yep. this and this. Exactly. I don't think that I would have access to using the scanning electron microscope at another university or be able to use it on my own, which the professors here, um, Dory especially, she showed me how to use the SEM. She didn't do it for me. She directed me how to use it, and I use it on my own for my research. There are CFCs in the atmosphere, mm -hmm. so we have to keep a nitrogen atmosphere, keep CFCs out, so that the atmosphere doesn't contaminate the mm. samples. Got it. The research in our lab is looking at how CFCs behave, whether they stick or absorb to thermally altered carbonaceous materials in the subsurface, so that we can examine or consider how CFCs are used as groundwater tracers. The experiments have to be done in a nitrogen atmosphere controlled environment inside an anaerobic chamber. Students that work in my lab leave with a very firm understanding of, of, uh, of work ethic and uh, troubleshooting because you have to troubleshoot as you receive the data. Our close relationship or rapport between the faculty and the students allows us to have a lot of fun while we do important work. We study deep time. We're time lords. We're looking at how the layered rocks relate to changes in Earth history, climate change, and evolution rates. Okay, what we're doing here is investigating Upper Devonian strata. We're using conodonts. These are a small fossil which we can cover from the rocks, which gives us biostratigraphic control. And then we're tying this in with chronostratigraphy using uranium lead dates from ash beds. So this summer I worked one-on-one -on -one with Dr. Over and it was a really good experience for me. So here at Geneseo we're pushed to actually make those research projects our own and to actually do as much as we can with them in the four years that we're here. So undergraduate research has a ton of benefits and if you're looking from it at a big picture, you learn how to read better, you learn how to write better, you learn how to speak about what you're learning about and writing about, and that is so valuable when you get out into the real world. In order to make sure that students have access to these high-level, high-impact experiences, some of them will pursue internships. We've had a long-standing 
educational partnership with the American Rock Salt Company. Students have worked with geologists at the mine on exploration work, on geophysical surveys, and getting a better understanding of the rocks uh, in and around the mine. For prospective geology students out there, if you are interested in geology, you love being out in the fields, doing hands-on, interactive things, working with a bunch of different people and learning in a fun way, this is the program for you. You're going to be learning a ton of relevant information with great people and in a community that is really unparalleled. Meeting the demand for more and better trained geologists starts with undergraduate education and pre-undergraduate education. The model of undergraduate education at public liberal arts colleges such as SUNY Geneseo is outstanding and highly effective and needs to be maintained in the future. I like rocks. Go rocks!